please subscribe and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. Welcome to TechSivo.com. This is part 2 of Angular 5 tutorial series. In this video we can create our first Angular project using Angular CLI. ng-new is the command used to generate a new Angular project and skeleton application. First copy your project path. Open command prompt, change drive and path to your project location. Then type ng new and your project name, and hit enter. It takes time to set up a new project, most of it is spent installing npm packages and modules to run the angular basic project structure. After some minutes our project is successfully created. In our project location a folder is created, inside that all the supporting files and folders also created. Now our project is ready to run. The ng-serve command launches the server, watches your files, and rebuilds the apps as you make changes to those files. Using the open option will automatically open your browser on localhost. Now let's run our project. Go to the project directory and copy the path. Change directory to project path and execute ng-serve. You can see our Angular app is running fine. Now let's open our project in Visual Studio Code. The easiest way to open our project in VS Code is running the command, code dot from the command prompt. This will open our project if you are in the project directory. So open command prompt, now our project is still running, so to execute a new command, press Ctrl plus C and press Y, then hit enter. This will stop the application, now execute code dot command, when you execute a command always makes sure you are in the project directory. Now our project is opened in VS Code. You can also open project using the open folder option in file menu, both methods are same. Now let's understand our project structure, when we create an Angular project, our application structure looks like this. I will explain about the important folders and files, to know more about the Angular project files please check the description for the official documentation link. The SRC folder contains the actual source code for developers, your app lives in the SRC folder. All Angular components, templates, styles, images, and anything else your app needs go here. Any files outside of this folder are meant to support building your app. Next, app component files, these are the files with an HTML template, CSS style sheet, a class, which is where your component logic is stored, and a unit test. App component is the root component of Angular application. Angular components are the basic building blocks of your app. Each component defines any necessary imports needed by the component, a component decorator, which includes properties that allow you to define the template, CSS styling, animations, etc. A class, which is where your component logic is stored. AppModule.ts is a TypeScript file, it's the root module that tells Angular how to assemble the application. Right now it declares only the app component. Soon there will be more components to declare. We can discuss components in the upcoming videos. Asset folder is used to put images, CSS, JavaScript files etc. Index.html is the main HTML page that is served when someone visits your site. All other pages are dynamically inserted into the page. Main.ts file, it is the starting point of our application. Style.css is where we can add global styles for our applications. Package.json file is a standard file. Every node and Angular project contain this file. Basically, 
This file contains all information like name of the project, versions information, dependencies, and dev dependencies settings. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, thank you. Please subscribe and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on.